Understanding the concept of functional reserve in MS is really important. I was recently asked, what happens if you constantly pushed past your functional reserve? Could that lead to a faster progression? Great question. And to hear my answer, stay tuned, because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I'm answering viewers' questions, and today's question comes from Lynn Lizzie, who writes, Thank you for the great explanation on MS progression. I have a question. Do you think that pushing past functional reserve on a regular basis causes faster progression? Thanks for all you do. Well, Lynn, thank you for participating in the channel. Thank you for the love. And thank you for asking this provocative question. So let's dig in. The concept of functional reserve is important in MS. And the way that I like to think about functional reserve this is your nervous system's ability to withstand an insult. I don't mean you're ugly. I mean an insult like you have an infection or like you haven't slept or like you push yourself to the brink of exhaustion. And function reserve is your nervous system's ability to withstand that insult. Certain parts of the nervous system are more or less capable of handling this. They have a smaller or larger functional reserve. And as we age, our functional reserve diminishes. As I like to remind people, when I was 18, I could skip a night of sleep and I would just sleep the following night. Now, in my mid 40s, just sharing that with you makes me feel exhausted because my functional reserve has decreased with age. It happens to all of us. Now, in the setting of MS, functional reserve can decrease even faster. And one might find that if they skip a night of sleep, or if they get an infection, or if they push themselves to the brink of exhaustion, that old neurological symptoms come back out. When their body cools down, when the infection goes away, when they get a good night of sleep, things go back down to normal, and their nervous system can function yet again. So, what happens if we push ourselves past the limits of our functional reserve? Can that make us progress faster? No. I don't think that it can. And in fact, if we're smart about this, I believe that you can very slowly grow your functional reserve. There is data suggesting that people that exercise as part of their lifestyle can actually preserve brain volume. That's very meaningful. And it has been my experience in clinic that patients that commit to exercise as part of their lifestyle by slowly and incrementally increasing the amount of time they can handle will tell me that they have more energy, that they function much better, and they seem to have an improved quality of life and improved neurological function. I don't think that you can hurt your body by pushing too far. I want you to be very cognizant of that because if you overdo it, you may pay what I call the devil's price and spend the next day in bed, and that's terrible. And so obviously, I want you to be planful to avoid that if there's something really important you need to do the next day. But the short answer is I don't think that you can cause damage to the nervous system and cause faster progression. I want you to use good judgment and common sense. And if you can slowly but surely and incrementally increase your functional reserve, your functional capacity, I think in fact you can fare better. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Thank you, Lizzie, for that awesome question, and thank you to all the wonderful people that participate in this channel, that watch the videos, and that leave comments and questions. I love reading them, and I love responding. Until my next video or live stream, this is Aaron Boster saying, take care. <laughs>